Hey, what's up folks? Brock here at my workbench, AKA my parents' patio table with a custom tip. I am currently working on actually quite a few projects, but on one of the projects that I'm working on is gonna be a saber tooth. I'm gonna upgrade the saber tooth to this Omega Red body. Now you've seen me recently work on an Omega Red body and talk about the different areas where you need to consider uh, removing paint rub but I think I failed to mention one important area actually a couple important areas that I wanted to do a follow-up video and I go this is the perfect time uh, this is only my second time working on an Omega red body and it is difficult to remove all paint rub from it especially if you're gonna go from a you know a red to a green like I did with the thunder um, the thunderball and in this case I'm gonna be going from a red to a yellow uh, yellow to a brown depending on the areas of the body that it can affect so refer to that video for the rest of the areas but one of the areas that you do want to remove is it does have this post that connects the back to the uh, chest and you do want to get rid of that because as the butterfly joint swivels it can hit that inside post and cause some paint rub but an area that that really needs to be focused that it's you know it's not always a problem with all figures it's going to be this area where the intercostals hit the uh the hip uh, whatever muscle this is right here the oblique maybe the oblique area and at, for example if you look at this older toy biz if you take a a good look it doesn't really hit that bottom part so when i use this upper body i'll sand it just as a precaution but it really has plenty of clearance whereas this omega red body it doesn't and i've already the reason i decided to do it is because i noticed it and i started working on it but when you look in here it's really close to making contact and actually it was making contact before let me make sure that it's focused and what you want to do is you want to remove plastic from this area using a dremel and you have to do it to the front and to the back uh, portion which i have so let me get my goggles on because i do want to take a little bit more off so that way you guys can see practically how it's done let me put it together so you can even get a better picture. And that is a pest, you know, once you have your, your figure painted, you definitely don't want to be messing around with this area because if you have to sand after painting, and I've had to do that before, it's really a pain in the butt because it gets uh, your Dremel, it, it becomes uh, more difficult to get into those areas without causing additional paint damage and you just really don't want to do that so here's mostly put back together and then you can just check and it looks like it's still rubbing a little bit on the back area right there i can feel it rubbing you may not see it on camera but it is rubbing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this part out and then i'm going to focus on those areas right, right there with the drum. Let me see if I can get this done on camera. Focus up, girl. I'm just taking the top level of the plastic and like when you skin your knee and that piece of skin comes off, that's what you want to do there too. I always like to uh, sand after I do this, even if it looks smooth. And in this case, it, it really doesn't. It doesn't look smooth there. So I just want to... This is uh, a... A block that I cut out from a sanding block. You can get it at your, you know, Lowe's or Home Depot, maybe even on Amazon. I think the grit on this is 220. And I'm just trying to smooth out that area because with the Dremel, especially 
trying to do this on camera, you don't get good smooth bits coming off, well the sanding will take care of that for you. And you always, when you're, well actually, I was just about to say, you always, uh, when you're first starting out, you wanna test everything, but you wanna do it even if you've been at it for a while, even if you've been at it for a few years. So I'm gonna test it right now. I'm putting it back together. It's not gonna be perfectly put back together right now because I would, when it's done, I'll, I'll put, make sure all this is nice and tight. But then I can just test that now and that is definitely better than before. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it and I'm also visually testing it to see if there's an area that hits. So I'm not feeling much on this side, but on, on, on this left side right here, you can see right there, it's per, right there. It looks like it makes contact a little bit with that, uh, the obliques making uh, contact with the lower upper obliques to lower obliques it's been a long time since i took anatomy but anyway it looks like i need to take some more off so that's what you do in the testing process and this is the most tedious part of the customizing process and it's the least fun part at least i don't find it fun at all most customizers don't find it fun but it's probably the most important part of the customizing process because can you imagine you do a beautiful paint job and then all of a sudden paint rub and that's happened to me before so you want to just take out the uh now i'm forgetting which side it was which side was it <laughs> remember which side it was two player i think it was i think it was this side Let me do it on camera, that would help. And this is how you do it. You just take little by little. I'll stop right there. And I'll come back in and I would spend more time sanding it if I wasn't on camera. But I just wanted to get you guys a practical look at a customizing tip and how to that way when you work on your your next project you can you can handle business correctly and so i i sanded down that side let's see if that was the side <laughs> that needed it uh, yeah that was the side that needed it let me put it back together together correctly with these they need to go on the front first because that's where the it pegs in And then you put the back side in. Hopefully this is all on camera. If it's not, I my apologies because I won't be editing the vi this video much. Okay, so now going back and now I'm looking. I, I'm probably going to do a little bit more there off camera so I can get a, a good look at it but it it's definitely doesn't feel like it's making contact so that'll go a long way with with just about any figure that you work on obviously on this toy biz one there wasn't an issue but on on these new hasbro ones everything's tighter so you want to pay attention to those parts that are going to become pesky at the end all right hopefully that was helpful to you and i'll catch you on the next one please peace Toys, toys. yo